In addition to the Toledo Museum of Art, Toledo has an unfolding development along the east side of the Maumee River, just north of the Cherry Street Martin Luther King Bridge, called the Marina District. Work has been started on the district, but to appreciate what's been done, we must go back a little bit in time to see how it evolved. Using Google Earth, we can do this because the images have not been updated in the past several years. As we begin our descent to Main Street in East Toledo, we can see how Toledo has grown all around the Maumee River. This river has been the lifeblood of Toledo and will continue to be a driving force in its future development. Here is the sports arena, one of Toledo's most memorable venues, which was removed to make way for urban renewal and the Marina District project. Across the street are the docks, restaurants, and entertainment complex, which is currently in the state of changing hands. A Chinese investment group called Dashing Pacific Group has plans to purchase the property and is considering the Marina District as well. We'll come back here later, but first let's move north along the Maumee so we can see the size and depth of the Marina District area. As you can see in these early pictures, Riverside Drive is under development and runs the length of the Marina Project. Nearing the far north end, we can see Interstate 280 and the Veterans Glass City Skyway Bridge that connects East and West Toledo. Turning around and heading back south down the Maumee, we can see that there are many possibilities for growth along this dynamic river. The Maumee was originally called Miami of the Lake back in 1671 when treaties were drawn up with the Native American Indians. The river was the I-75 of its time and even today provides an important passageway to the Atlantic Ocean. Coming back to Main Street and Riverside Drive, we notice how this crossroad connects not only East and West Toledo, but the all-important Marina District to the docks. Just a couple hundred yards away, we see the docks, which provides good food and entertainment for any development the Marina District has to offer. Farther south, we see the Willis B. Boyer Freighter Museum docked along the east side of the river. As we approach the high-level bridge and begin to elevate back up, we see how the Maumee River again shows its size and influence on Toledo. Here is a more recent view of the Marina District and the Veterans Skyway Bridge taken in January of 2011. Looking southwest, we see the skyline of downtown Toledo just across the Maumee River. This photo is courtesy of Google Earth and shows the Marina District from directly overhead. On the far right 
is the Veteran Skyway Bridge, which is Interstate 280, and on the far left is the Martin Luther King Cherry Street Bridge, which connects Main Street of East Toledo with Cherry Street in downtown Toledo. This next photo shows the Marina District before and after major work was done to clean up and revitalize the area. Mainly it shows the Toledo Edison Acme Power Plant and its location in the Marina District. This is the Toledo Blade front page on February 8, 2011, showing Chinese interest in the Marina District as well as the docks area just to the south. Additionally, the Chinese investment firm of Dashing Pacific Group Incorporated presented this conceptual drawing to the city of Toledo, showing their thoughts of what they have in mind for the development of the Marina District in the future, should they be allowed to purchase the property. This last photo is of an earlier conceptual drawing of another developer's vision of what the Marina District could look like with the proper development. No matter which way you look at it, the Marina District is a very hot property for the city of Toledo, and with the right nurturing, could greatly benefit Toledo's future tourism and growth.